The concept of redemption is a recurring theme, not only in the literary, but also in the visual arts of the time period. In this work by painter William Macduff, a young shoe black or shoe cleaner points to a portrait of Lord Shaftesbury on display in a shop window. He appears to be recruiting another young street urchin to join Shaftesbury's London Shoeblack Brigade. Founded in 1851 by John McGregor and Lord Shaftesbury, the brigade provided safety for such lost boys by giving them uniforms, equipment, and regular street pitches. Shaftesbury, or Lost and Found, is a wonderful visual essay on a key Victorian theme. Christopher Wood notes, The title implies that these two boys, thanks to the great philanthropist, have been able to make a new start in life and will become useful members of society. This was the Victorian path to redemption, Christian faith, and hard work. One of the most influential figures in awakening the private conscience was Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Known as the Prince of Preachers, Spurgeon moved thousands to not only support public legislation to help the needy, but more importantly, to engage in personal ministration. He once said, carve your name on hearts, not on marble. Spurgeon emphasized that a love for Christ would manifest itself in a love for others. As an important portraitist of his day, Sir Thomas Lawrence's work illustrates the transition of portrait painting in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Lawrence's work echoes the traditional style of academy painters such as Sir Joshua Reynolds and Benjamin West. However, this unfinished portrait of William Wilberforce foreshadows the lush and fluid brushwork of early 19th century romantics. Like Lawrence, Wilberforce was a transitional figure. His passionate quest for meaningful legislative change ultimately eradicated Britain's slave trade in the late 18th century. But like Lawrence's portrait, the work of reform at the time of Wilberforce's death in 1833 was far from finished. Wilberforce's dogged persistence, however, proved inspiring. It was a shaft of light that Victorian politicians such as Lords Melbourne and Shaftesbury and novelists such as Charles Dickens would use to illuminate those dark places at home and abroad where reform was still much needed.